Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. Today we will be discussing about design of a Pelton wheel. This is a impulse type of turbine that is used to produce energy from high head water or high head fluids. When the impulse action is imparted on the blades of the wheel, it produces a rotational motion and that's converted into a mechanical energy to convert electricity. And the input energy in, here, in this case is hydraulic energy. So for that, the main difficult part of it is the design of the buckets of it. And these are of a little interesting shape and it's a little difficult to produce the shapes. So we'll be simplifying those shapes into some of the known geometry that is available to us. So for that, we just take some of the planes and that would be referenced to the top planes. We take three planes actually. And in this case, in the top plane, we start a simple sketch. Produce a rectangle. It says point one five by point one meters. <coughs> now we fill up the corners. In this case, the radius will be sufficiently long. I don't think this would be enough. And now exit the sketch and produce another sketch on the top plane. That would be similar to this one. Similarly, we now fill up these corners. The radius would be a little smaller. Let's say it's 0.015. Much better. And now we need a guide curve that would be guiding our feature to the correct path for that we draw another sketch on the front plane. That will be a three point arc. Our shape of the buckets will be going like this. So now we we'll go for the loft. Choose the corresponding points that would be connecting. And choose the guide curves as these two curves. and then go for the shell feature the shell thickness will be 0 0.003 it doesn't choose any face to remove so that's it there is a uh, one side of the bucket now we just mirror this thing out for that we would need another reference geometry and the reference plane would be the front plane Hit OK and just mirror this entire thing out. The reason for that not being much because the plane is slightly a little too distant, so we just edit this plane. That's a four five. Maybe 
four eight. Much better as it would have to go through some of the thickness of this wall. So now we mirror it again. The plane would be this one and the body would be entire this one. This would increase the thickness out here that is necessary for the impulse action to be sustained. So we need a cut away out here which is necessary for the flow not to be interrupted by the consecutive buckets. So we start another sketch on the uppermost plane. Make a center line that would go through this line. And now produce a three point cutaway. Mirror this. and go for the cut before that we just enclose the sketch for ease of our operation select through all and the fluid would be hitting up to this point and the fluid will be passing through these sides and now we go for the connecting parts that would be holding these two buckets with the wheel. For that we start another sketch on the front plane. We need to be assured that everything is being in contact otherwise the merge results won't be able to rebuild itself go for a three point arc see how this works make it as mid plane since it's a little too high we just edit the sketch There is no gap in this side since the modules in all is on and there is no rebuild error so we can assume that there is no gap and if you want you can just edit it out a little more to be a further ensure there isn't any gap. There. Much better now we just mirror this side to the, for that one as well. Mirror plan is with this one, features with this one. There, much better. Our buckets, we just hide all the planes. and usually they are connected to the wheel with rivets and for that we just go for some sketching and this was just for the convenience we just go for this face and produce a sketch for the hexagonal rivets and for making things a little Realistic, let's just make some of those reference geometries. Mirror the 
this about this line and extrude them in both the directions. much better and since we're just making things a little bit simplified so we'll not be going for the exact dimensionings and design some of the parts assuming the dimensions <laughs> 